Chapter 15 of Repentance Unto Life and Salvation Such of the elect as are converted at riper years, having sometime lived in the state of nature, and therein served divers lusts and pleasures, God in their effectual calling gives them repentance unto life. Paragraph 2 Whereas there is none that doeth good, and sinneth not, and the best of men may through the power and deceitfulness of their corruptions dwelling in them, with the prevalency of temptation, fall into great sins and provocations. God hath in the covenant of grace mercifully provided that believers so sinning and falling be renewed through repentance unto salvation. Paragraph 3. This saving repentance is an evangelical grace whereby a person being by the Holy Ghost made sensible of the manifold evils of his sin does by faith in Christ humble himself for it with godly sorrow, detestation of it, and self-abhorrency, praying for pardon and strength of grace with a purpose and endeavor by supplies of the Spirit to walk before God unto all well-pleasing in all things. Paragraph 4. As repentance is to be continued through the whole course of our lives, upon the account of the body of death and the motions thereof, so is it every man's duty to repent of his particular known sins particularly. Paragraph 5. Such is the provision which God has made through Christ in the covenant of grace for the preservation of believers unto salvation, that although there is no sin so small, but it deserves damnation, yet there is no sin so great that it shall bring damnation on them who truly repent, which makes the constant preaching of repentance necessary. The end of chapter 15.